Okay, welcome back insurance firms, insurance brokers, how lead providers, the lead providers that you are buying leads from are making serious bank, serious cash selling leads to you as an insurance company. This is your lead provider and today we're going to discuss in this video, we're going to share why buying leads from third party lead providers is hurting your brand as an insurance business and why the quality of your sales and the staff are being affected and the customer's overall experience that you deal with. And by the end of this video, I'm going to share to you the methods and the systems that you can use to be able to replace lead providers altogether and get high quality, higher quality, better qualified and interested customers who want quotes from your business. So who are we? Our firm growmyinsurance.com is the leading marketing agency that works solely with insurance firms and implements a complete omni-channel, multiple touchpoint marketing system with over a decade of insurance sales experience, personally selling multiple seven figures in insurance premium, and both within sales and marketing, generating multiple seven figures in premium for our clients. GrowMyInsurance.com, feel free to check it out. It's going to be the first link in the description along with my LinkedIn as well. Feel free to drop me over a connection there. And don't just take our word for it. This is one of our clients, Martin. Now, before working with us, Martin was you know, buying leads, web transfers, hotkeys, found himself just in a bidding war with every single customer fighting over price, trying to get the person to actually go through the phone. You know, when the customer did pick up the phone, eventually they were instantly on their back foot. They felt that they were sort of at war with this customer. Now, and since giving him our systems, he's generated over 3,000 direct inbound quote submissions and phone calls direct for his business. You know, people now know his firm and people come to him direct, completely organic, as uh, well with through paid ads. And because of the reputation that we've helped him build, you know, people just know of his brand and he's just getting a load of free customers that come to him directly because of the overall multi-channel system that we provided him quickly discussing you know how the lead providers are actually making serious cash by selling leads to you and a good question to ask is you know why is and why are buying leads different from generating your own you know why can't you just buy high quality high intent customers consistently and sell to them without any issues you know why is there this back and forth why is there this distaste in the industry on buying leads so the best way for us to answer this question is is, is to fully understand you know, how these lead providers are actually making money uh, how are they profiting from you so look we're going to look at this from a 30,000 foot view this is an overarching idea and many of you are going to already understand this process but for those that don't, this is exactly how it works. So the lead providers themselves have a system. That system allows them to be able to generate leads. Now, let's just say they're generating leads at an average of, say, £10 per inquiry. So this is the customer that goes through the system and that's cost the lead provider sort of £10 per person. They then have a portfolio of clients who they sell these leads to. Uh, say, let's just say one of these is you, one of these is your competitors and the other one is your competitor here. And they're selling to you that lead at £30. They're selling that lead to another one of your competition at £30 and the same with the third one that they're selling this on to. So for every single lead that comes through, they're selling it three times once at a premium and you know they're selling it at 30 pounds to three people they're making 90 it costs 10 you know the net per lead that they're receiving through is you know they're making 80 pounds on it now that doesn't sound very significant if you're looking at that from a you know just one lead that comes through now that becomes a significant number once you actually start to increase the volume so let's just say there is 100 customers at 10 pounds they've spent 1000 to acquire 1000 leads now they sell those 100 leads at 30 pounds and they also sell that 30 pounds three times they're making 9k over 100 leads that 9k minus the 1k spent they're walking away with an 8k profit at the end and look there's absolutely nothing wrong with that you know just, you need to understand that's the system that it works and that's their business model and great but as a lead provider you know put your self in their position as a lead provider to make more money to make more impact to grow the business to make more cash what do they need to do you know how do they actually do that and what is the core foundation of how they generate the business well it's super simple they need to sell more leads so their one focus is how can we get as many leads as possible to generate more cash and how can we sell as many leads as possible now the biggest problem is and this is why this is, becomes an issue is the incentives between you as an insurance company and the incentives as them being the lead provider just don't align the two don't match up so this is you 
um, an insurance company that is looking for a customer that has high intent, somebody who is looking to move forward with a quotation and offer a policy and people who are qualified, people who are interested in, in actually what you've got to offer. As a lead provider, their main goal is volume, you know, how can we get a bigger portfolio of clients that we can sell these leads to? And also, how can we generate as much as possible to be able to sell out as much as possible? One of the biggest problems is that you as a customer might believe that quality, that, you know, we're looking for quality, not quantity. We want quality, not volume. You know, we want a quality type of customer and we want quality leads. A lot of people believe that quality lies within the actual customer themselves, but actually it has nothing to do with the customer. Lots of people believe or they talk about leads as in that there is this magical place that all the customers that just want to buy have their car details already qualified, you know, the, the perfect type of person that you would want to sell to. People believe that those type of people are like hiding away you know, on, on a different planet. And then the people that you receive, the low quality, the bad ones are all just the ones that are being generated. And actually it has nothing to do with the customer, the actual customer themselves, that the person that is coming through to, to you on the back end from these lead providers is actually being lied to. And this is where the problem lies because the customer's being lied to, you're being lied to, and then the lead provider walks away realistically on top 99% of the time. So let's talk about how lead providers are actually generating so many leads. Like, Why would you even need to use lead providers if you could just generate an abundance of leads yourself? And it's a really good question to ask because reality is that you can. Now, the system that a lead provider uses is, is usually some form of lead gathering technique that through paid ads, Google ads, Facebook ads, and online marketing. Now, the difference into why this would be different if you do it versus how they do it is they have a volume-based offer. And their offer overall is designed to get as much volume as possible because we already know the more volume that they have, the more they can sell, the more money they make. So their whole offer is built around, you know, to the customer, the messaging that the actual potential lead receives is, you know, see if you qualify, instant quotes, quotes in five minutes, don't miss out on this amazing opportunity, you know, quick and easy. So that's the messaging that they're sending all of these customers to and these, they're sending them usually across to a landing page. Now that landing page has you know, an easy quote form. It's not going to take very long, 90 seconds to receive a quote. Misleading messaging. The messaging is usually pointed towards that you can receive some form of like online price and, you know, online prices. Now, some lead providers do have online prices and that's great, but the messaging is still focused towards, you know, high intent or volume. So that customer then comes through to you as, as the insurance broker has been sold on sort of three times and you receive the customer on the back end. Now, this customer is under the impression that this whole process that they've just gone through is quick, easy, and they don't want to miss out. Already on the back foot, they haven't shown any interest in the product. They're specifically not, only because they've gone through that quote process doesn't mean they're actually qualified and ready to buy and within the market. So you then receive this client on the back end. They're a little bit confused on what's going on. You're thinking that you're going to be selling to somebody who is interested and has intent to buy insurance. And then the whole thing just doesn't work out. You as an insurance company, how can you use this same system, but instead of having a volume based offer, have an intent based offer? Now, an intent based offer is the exact same systems, the same processes, the exact same structure that a lead provider uses to get theirs. But instead of receiving as much volume as possible, you're making your messaging and your offer based on intention. OK, so messaging completely changes to, you know, get a quote direct, speak to our team guaranteed best prices. Let's just say you've got an offer where you can compete in the market, better terms, you know, versus others and over others, highlighting your five star reviews instantly. This offer is built around people who are interested, people that are potentially searching for the product, people that they understand by proceeding with this offer. It requires that, okay, we're probably moving more into a sales environment of, of we're getting a quote, you know, direct. We're having to speak to somebody. Um, you know, the fact that you can highlight your reviews, you can talk about past prices means that potentially they already have their renewal. So we're sending them across the same process to a landing page. But the landing page is also designed with intent based offering. So the landing page, you know, has specific questions that qualifies the customer on this landing page through the quote forms, you know, you can have your renewal date, you know, when is your renewal date? Do you have cover already? What type of cover and level of cover are you looking for? People who can answer these questions are going to be people who are actually interested in a the product, they're qualified, they're ready to move. And you know, we can change the call to actions to get a quote, get a quote direct, buy a policy online, buy a policy direct, 
call center. Okay, and we can also highlight a lot of your testimonials and, you know, show that the customers that you help, are they like them? Okay, so just with the same system, with the exact same process structures that the lead provider is using, just by changing how the offer is presented, you instantly change the customer's intent. Okay, the lead then comes through to you. Obviously, it's not being sold on at all because you know it's your customer, you're running the system. So instantly, you don't have to go into a bidding war. And then when you do receive a contact with the client, one, the client knows that you're going to be contacting them because this whole process is based around that. They know that they have filled out the details on your website. So they're awaiting a callback, they're waiting a response. So the difference is, so the difference is not, you know, where you found them. They're not hiding under a rock and these people who are more qualified are like hiding somewhere and the people that aren't qualified are available to be targeted. It's just a case of the system that you used and the way that you structured the system. It's not the system that you used that done it, but it's instead the way that you used the system. It's the way that you presented your messaging and you know the way that you chose them is, is completely different to how a lead provider runs their model because their model is based on how do we get as much volume. You running the system is how can we get the most quality of customer coming through. And this is just super day and night difference when you start to run this system. By doing this, you know, you generate qualified quality customers, okay? By using these same systems with intent-based offering, you generate a qualified quality customer. You know, people that want to speak to you and your team, you know, you speak to people that actually want to move forward because they've shown interest, they've been able to answer questions that uh, only a customer and only somebody who would be actually looking to buy that product would be able to answer. And you speak to people that want to move forward with you, your offers, your business and your insurance product. So what are your next steps? Well, your next steps are that you can continue buying leads just how you are at the moment and you know continue being in a bidding war with every single prospect and having to speak to people that are you know unqualified. The other step you can take is to figure this out all out on yourself. Uh, try and understand how the system works, what messaging to use, what landing pages, how to actually collect the audiences, how to collect the details, how to effectively do all this correctly. And uh, that takes time, can take investment, takes money, usually takes a skill set of some sort. And you can do it yourself. I'm sure there's loads of videos out there. Now I'm going to go into a pitch, so feel free to back away from this video if you're not interested. But uh, if you are interested in in us implementing our strategies, you know, these exact same lead generation strategies for your insurance firm, you know, on a complete paid on results basis, and you want us to help you increase quality, increase the volume of policy sales, then feel free to reach out. And this is for insurance firms who already have an existing sales process, you know, it's for firms who have established teams, already have systems and processes in place, but want to make them explode, want to get to the next level. If that's you, you're interested in that, then it's completely done for you. We cover everything, set up to delivery on a paid and results basis. I'll leave the links below, but it's growmyinsurance.com. Book a call with us and schedule a conversation and we can go over a few things and demo this out for you. But yeah, so like, subscribe, do all that good YouTube stuff. I hope this video has provided some value to you and appreciate you watching. Cheers.